So now I have the privilege of introducing to you Jay Asher, author of international bestseller, 13 Reasons Why. Because of the extreme popularity of his book and the intense responses that he's received from readers of his book, Jay has started a tour called 50 States Against Bullying. It's the 50 States Against Bullying tour that I'm on, and so that's primarily what I'm gonna talk about. But I need to say up front, when I was writing my book, I didn't think I was writing about bullying. And it wasn't until I started hearing from readers, and for, you know, from teens and from teachers, like, I would hear from, from teens saying, I've experienced that same kind of bullying. Or I would hear from teachers saying that, you know, our school for the past few years has been dealing with bullying and try to put it into our curriculum, and we're, we're now using your book. 13 Reasons Why, it's about a girl who uh, commits suicide, and she makes these audio cassettes beforehand, um, where she talks about the people she feels led her to that decision, and then the tapes make it through those people. When I started speaking at schools, it wasn't about bullying, essentially. It was really just about being an author, and then the issues would kind of come up. And then when I would leave, I would hear from students saying that there was, was a little change in the hallway afterwards, you know, because you can't talk about these things where everybody hears it and not have some sort of a change. It was really good to hear about, like, I enjoyed listening to him talk about it and talk about, like, how serious the topic can be. Um, yeah, I really enjoyed it because I do feel like a lot of schools don't take the topic that seriously. So when they told us that he would be coming to our school, I thought it was amazing that we could spread the word here because I know that's been like an issue in the past couple of years. It just gives everyone a lot better understanding of how everyone, you can affect pretty much anyone that you talk to. Like no matter how trivial you think your friendship or relationship is with them, you can pretty much affect anyone that you talk to. I think it's important for people to really like understand that it is just that, not, it doesn't have to be one big thing, but it can be little things that might seem small at the time that are happening to someone, but they can add up over time and really impact someone's life. And that's been this beautiful thing, is seeing students take ownership of, of the issues in this book. And it's, it's been absolutely amazing. You know, talking to the teens from, you know, from the stage is great and the reaction's been great. But then afterwards, when they come up and speak about why the book meant something to them and how they're happy that this message is getting shared to all of their classmates, like to hear that is absolutely beautiful and makes all the travel definitely worth it. Several things I hope they took away. I hope they think about, again, their actions and their words. And I hope that if they see a friend who might be struggling, who they think might be acting a little more depressed, that they'll talk to them more. I hope that they realize that there are resources for them if they're having trouble and they don't want to talk to a friend. And just that uh, bullying is not okay. It's never okay. It was funny, one of the kids asked their teacher, do you think he chose our school because we're a bullying school? And it was like, no, not at all. It's because we care about bullying and we don't want it to happen here. I hope they take away that the things that they do matter that the end that they matter that each and every one of them is important they may have issues they may not feel confident they may not feel that they matter but they really do the main thing i was trying to say in the book was simply you know another telling of the golden rule about how we treat each other and good or bad small or large you know everything affects people in ways we can't tell but what i get back from a lot of readers is they get that but it also makes people who Sometimes our bullies really reconsider what they're doing, because a lot of times they're not doing it to be mean, but sometimes they just don't know the impact they're actually having.